Toronto back guys and today we're going to be going out we're going to do a bit of trolling and then try I'm just going to pick an area to put down for a sport dog or bull hus and just give it a try see what's down there uh, just a bit of exploratory stuff I'm joined today with, bu with Buttons my 10 month old Labrador I was looking for a new dog and I just happened to read up on the Labradors and they're actually descended from the St. John's dog which were used for by fishermen to get nets and stuff that's why they have the web feet so hopefully she should be a natural born boat, boat dog but uh, I'll let you know as the day goes on I'm going to be out for a couple of hours uh, I am sorry I haven't been around for a while did have uh, uh, someone pass away in her family and you know there's time for fishing and there's time for family so just took a little break for a while and uh, I'm just going to go back into the fishing just probably a bit slower than I have been so uh, jump on board and let's go Hi guys, I'm gonna try a couple of feathers. Yeah. So I see I'm coming closer to the rocks now, but I'm gonna just keep trolling out from them to see if any pollock or anything around the rocks or cods. I don't have the white feathers on for the cod. I've got the orange tubes. Usually I find the best is the, the red and yellow. I don't have any on me. Supplies are low. And there might not be any here, but you have to try a few different techniques when you're out. So, doing a tote bay, I do half a macro, and then I sit. I do half a macro and I slit the sides and I'm just taping up the tail to the hook there because there is crabs down there so now on here have sand ale on this one two of them Waiting. Wait, right, wait, look, check the bait on this. took my bait. Oh. Again, it's always good to keep checking the bait because otherwise you just have an empty hook sitting down there. So this is a tow hook. I don't know if there's tope in this area but I'm just trying it anyway. Okay, but it's getting more comfortable. There is a board out there. Maybe she wants to make friends. There we go, fish on this. Are we waiting then? Oh, they tend to, they appear to like the sand eel on the big hook. Oh, whoa, this feels, geez, this felt big. They let go, it's sort of letting go, it's sort of letting go. Wherever it was, there was something big on there. This is that are popping off. This is that are popping off, whatever that was. So they're letting go. That was a good sized fish. That was a good sized fish, I can tell you that. Um, so I'm pulling at this from my taupe rig, and it's definitely not a taupe because, well, there wouldn't be much line left on. 
Oh, I'd say it's a bull hook or doggy. Uh, hook's quite big, so it couldn't be that really smaller. Yeah, it's definitely weight there. There we go. Yeah, dogfish. Hey, little pal. First one of 2022. So we just tea bar them off. Look at the size of the hook he took. And you got the food as well. Away he goes. Well, guys, that's the day done. Cousins survived. Didn't get seasick. We just grand because uh, dog getting sick on the boat wouldn't be great, so she's grand. Tried a bit of trolling and a bit of feathering for Pollock or cod around the rocks there. There was none there, so I went on. I just picked an area out from the beach and just put down anchor and tried it. So it was a couple of whitening dogfish, uh, so it's nothing spectacular, but still out fishing, checking new areas, and still chasing the fish. So thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe, take care, bye bye.